I'm protesting for my kids, Gen Alpha. I grew up fearing presidents, the people that my vote hires and that my voice can fire. And now Ruto should know that we are firing him. He has shown us that he is incompetent as a leader. How can people die? How can children die? And he doesn't know their names, for God's sake. So for my children, I'm here and we're ready to spill our blood. Ruto should look at our flag and realize there's a reason we have a red band. That red band is for the blood of Kenyans. And if he's willing to spill our blood, we're willing to stand up to him. He's a big bully. Currently, I'm unemployed, but with the taxes that which are happening that are being imposed on me, I have no work, so I can't pay for them, and yet I'm being asked to pay. And yet, the first lady, the office which he made for the first lady, is not going to help me in any way. Her herself is not going to help the Kenyans in any way. So why, why not just take those, reduce his own salaries, reduce the MP salaries to help the Kenyan people, the ones who need to go to school, the ones who need employment, and the ones who need to eat. People are dying on the streets, and the only thing he can talk about is money. We are not money, we are people, we are human beings, and, they, and he needs to care about his people, because if he can't care about his people, then we don't need him in that chair. Like yes, the developments that he's talking about is repetitive, and we want him to go because, okay, he, he has a lot of promises and he's not delivering. All, all he talks about is uh, this one, this one. We are planning to do this. We are planning to do this, and no, we are not pleased. We as the youth are suffering. We are jobless. We are learned, but we can't get jobs. So he promised to create jobs, and when he's asked, he says. He, we, we also, when he entered in the government, we didn't have jobs, and we are not pleased at all.